<laughs> I'm a hawk, Ariel. Welcome to Roverland. This is a one-off Wednesday, and I got something for you. Yes, sir. This is your friend Dano. Uh, Wednesdays, we do one-off Wednesdays. I don't know. W. It's an O O W. Ooh, ah. <laughs> well, today I got something a little bit different for you. Um, yeah, everything is a one of except for this thing. Yeah, I got a couple of these, but that's all right. Uh, hey, check this out. What is this? Oh, yeah. I bought this, uh, I think from Rovers North. This is, uh, it had a sticky foam base. You see that white stuff in the back, in the behind there. But this is all metal, and uh, it was a plaque-like thing, I, uh, uh, placard, but it, it's pretty heavy. Um, and uh, what is that, uh, 50 years? Yeah, 50-year commemoration uh, placard thing that they made. So it's, it's boss. And then uh, I had my friend uh, make this uh, wooden uh, thing that I could put it on. Yeah, and then uh, I don't have no holes. No holes to hang it, but anyway, I painted it green, and uh, yeah, so that's pretty neat. That's a one-up, but that's not what we're really talking about today. Put that aside. Okay. All right, what I got is a uh, license plate, Land Rover license plate memorabilia stuff. Yeah, let me flash you a couple times. If you haven't uh, been woke up now on a Wednesday, uh, there it is. All right, so this is the Green Oval Land Rover um, license plate. Uh, I think, once again, I think I bought this from uh, Roverland as well. Uh, no, Rovers North. Rovers North out of Conne uh, Vermont. Vermont, not Connecticut, Vermont. And, uh, yeah, so you see it's bossed. And uh, it's really kind of cool. It's uh, the, the uh, Land Rover green. And then it's not white. It's like a um, cream, cream uh, white. Yeah, soda cream white. So really kind of cool. I got a couple of these. I kept them in the package. I didn't really take them out, you know. So, yeah. So anyway, I think this is all that I have. I don't know. You know, I didn't really dig around uh, too much. Here's another one. Um, I don't think I got this one from uh, Rovers North. Um, maybe I did. But this is uh, more of a traditional style U.S. license plate uh, with the green and bright yellow. It doesn't really show up bright yellow, but that is a bright yellow um, <clears throat> white trim around the outside. But once again, it is a aluminum uh, stamp license plate. Really kind of cool. Uh, you know, I got these hanging up in uh, in and around uh, Ro the Roverland uh, Museum here, or, or shop, or whatever you want to call it. But uh, yeah, so there's uh, number two. Now here are some interesting things, and, and I wish I could uh, finish this. Um, this, this um, I, I've been to all the tri-state uh, Land Rover dealers at one time. Uh, back, yeah, way back, way back. Um, yeah, I went to, uh, there's one in uh, Priora, Peoria, Illinois. There's... Uh, Several in the Milwaukee area, Chicago, Chicago area, there's three or four. I think this is Chicago, Lake Bluff. I think this is Chicago. Uh, there's one in, and obviously in Madison, Wisconsin. And then uh, over uh, at, e well, I don't know if it's Eden Prairie now anymore or uh, if they moved back to uh, Minneapolis, uh, Minnesota. So I, at one time I went to all of them. I wanted to get, these are just the flimsy little uh, license plate holder things that they put on the brand new cars, uh, you know, and uh, I would like to have a collection of all these from uh, every Land Rover dealership. I loved going to the Taj Mahals, as I call them, the Land Rover dealerships. Uh, the pictures that I have in my um, toolbox, yeah, I took a... a uh, Valvoline toolbox promotion thing and I put I took all the pictures of their road courses Remember they used to have road courses and go this way and that way uh, and the uh, The Land Rover main sign the Land Rover sign on the outside some pictures on the inside But anyway, I could probably publish a book with them. But anyway, uh, that would be a dream of mine what what this kind of goes after is uh, the Harley people Harley Davidson motorcycle group people they go to different harleys 
uh, dealerships and they buy a t-shirt. Well, I, I, I'd rather buy something like this. But anyway, there's a Lake Bluff one. Here's one. Uh, this is a traditional um, uh, Land Rover uh, tread lightly on public, uh, public and private proper land. Excuse me, I can speak. Just had a bowl of spaghetti, so my tongue's... <laughs> but anyway, this is like the... Um, Traditional Land Rover green. I don't know why it's not really uh, lighting around here. I really should. I, I well, there we go. I, it flashed for a minute to be what a color it should be. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, so tread lightly. This is um, was a campaign in the United States. Uh, public and private land tread lightly. Uh, I don't know if they really promote that anymore, but uh, really kind of cool. So that's a. Uh, that's another one uh, that I, you know, I don't know where I got that one either. <laughs> All right, so here's my sign again. Yeah, I told you I got a couple of these. It's the same as the last, but uh, but different. And uh, yeah, there it is. So yeah, I really like that. All right, so here's the granddaddy of them all. Um, yeah, this is it. This is uh, trying to make sure that doesn't that's gonna fall down, and that's it. So I got this. Um, Jaguar, Land Rover, uh, Range Rover, Peoria, Peoria, Illinois. I got this uh, there. Yeah, so it would really be nice to uh, get a collection of these, uh, all different states, and uh, you know, put put that on 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 the wall. So it, the the insert is just the, the plastic thing. Now this seems a little bit heavier than the other ones. But uh, really kind of cool. I like that. That is sharp. Uh, and then this is, this is, uh, it looks metal, but it's not, it's uh, plastic, but it's chromed. And uh, very kind of cool. Uh, it is uh, bossed. This is not just uh, printed. I'm trying to see if we can get an angle where you can see that it's bossed. Maybe, maybe this one here. You can see, yeah, there you go. Ja the little Jaguar is raised, so they're they're bossed, or I guess. Uh, look at the Land Rover. Oh, that looks cool. Yeah, so that's black there with the white uh, Jaguar Land Rover. Yeah, so oh yeah, there you go. Now you can kind of see how that is, but it's not it's not indented on the back. It's just smooth on the back. But that's all flashy, flashy. But that's not that's not metal. It's uh, plastic. So. Really kind of cool. I, I like this stuff. Uh, like I say, I wish um, uh, I could uh, get more of them. And uh, uh, maybe someday um, down the line, I can uh, go back and, uh, and even go further than uh, when I uh, did originally to going to all the Land Rover uh, dealerships again. I would love, I love that. Um, you know, get some business cards, get, I don't know. Does, do people think that's cool? I, I think it is. But anyway, I, um, I do remember, uh, check this out, quick story before we got to get out of here on a one on Wednesday. I do remember I have a sister that lives in Boston. That's way over there, you know, and I went to Boston to visit her. What did she do? Oh, she got married. I think <laughs> I don't even know why I was there. No, I, I she got married and we went tooling around and I went to, uh, I said, hey man, can we go to a Land Rover dealership? And she's like, yes, kid brother, we'll go to a Land Rover dealership. So we are all in the car driving around anyway. So uh, we went to um, the dealership and come to find out it was, it was the uh, first original dealership in the States, I think is what they were talking about in Massachusetts. Yeah. And I don't remember the city in particular, but they were, the, yeah, they were proclaiming that, the, I don't, I want to say first one in the States, the original uh, Land Rover dealership. I want to say that. Not the first one in Massachusetts, the first one in the United States. But anyway, all right, well, there you go. One on Wednesday. Thanks for joining me. I really get off on this kind of stuff. This is really cool stuff. I like this. Uh, hey, show me yours. Come on over to Facebook over there uh, and uh, drop your uh, favorite uh, card placement or Roverland license plate that you have. 
And uh, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, hit the subscribe button. We're over 500, but we're we're shooting for a thousand, right? All right, that's it for your friend Dano. A what up Wednesday? And remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.